Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders, the concept fractions. This is part one. Remember third graders, believe you can and you will. We have our Texas Star third grade math review workbook available for purchase in our store. Also, our third grade reading review workbook will be released on January 28th, but you can pre-order your workbook today. Both links will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. There will be a link in the description box for parents to request a free 30-minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you are alerted to new videos we upload. So let's talk about fractions. What is a fraction? A fraction is a number that names part of a whole. To write a fraction, each part of the whole must be the same size. Let's look at some examples of this. So in our first example, we have a rectangle and it is divided into four equal parts. Whenever you're dealing with fractions, the whole or the number of the whole is the denominator, which is the bottom number. In our example, since the rectangle is divided into four parts, four is our denominator and the part that is shaded is one. So one fourth is our fraction. The one is the numerator. Here is another example of equal parts. We have a circle that is divided into three equal parts. Since we have three equal parts total, that is our denominator. Now we're looking for the parts that are shaded and you can see that there are one, two parts that are shaded. So two will be in our numerator and our fraction is two thirds, parts that are shaded. Here is an example of unequal parts. It's a rectangle again, but if you notice that all of my parts do not look like the same size, because they are unequal parts, you cannot write a fraction. Here is another example. Here's a circle. Yes, it's divided into three parts, but they are unequal. So this cannot be written as a fraction because the circle has divided parts, however, they are unequal. To make a fraction, it has to be the same size. Let's look at our first question. Remember, this question is in our Star Math Review Workbook for third graders, and that link will be in the description box. Number 13, the picture represents the trophies three brothers have on a shelf. Each brother won the same number of trophies. What fraction of the trophies did each brother win? A, two thirds, B, two sixths, C, three sixths, or D, three thirds. In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what are we looking for? Very important question. We are looking for the fraction of trophies that each brother won. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next important question is, what information can help find the answer? The information that can help find the answer is this. There are three brothers and there are six trophies. How do we solve the problem? In order for us to solve the problem, what we are going to do is divide the trophy trophies evenly between the brothers, okay? And if you notice in our example, we've divided the trophies and we've sectioned them off to show brother one, 
two has two trophies, brother two has two trophies, and brother three has two trophies. So what is the correct answer? Okay, so remember, we are looking at the three brothers, yes, but we're trying to find out the fraction of how many trophies each brother won. So in order for us to find out or discover our denominator, we have to count all of the trophies together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is going to be our denominator. And for our numerator, we have to look at how many trophies each brother won, okay? And as you see in our example, that each brother has two trophies. So our numerator will be two and our denominator will be six. Okay, again, let me explain it one more time. In order for us to find the fraction, the first thing we need to do is count the total amount of trophies. There are on our shelf, one, two, three, four, five, six trophies. That is our denominator. Now, in order for us to find our numerator, we're looking to see how many trophies did each brother win. OK, and when we divided up the trophies evenly because there were three brothers, we can see that each brother received two trophies. So what is our correct answer? It is B two sixth because there's a total of six trophies and each brother received two trophies each. That is it for our part one of fractions review. Do you need a tutor? Remember, we are for math and reading tutoring. The link will be in the description box. We also offer our third grade reading workbook and our third grade math workbook as well. Those links will be in the description box too. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. We will, I will talk to you later.